marriage? Is it just romance and blowing kisses? Or is there a deeper power at work when two people are pushing each other to build a legacy and aiming for something greater? About 300 years after Jesus walked the earth, there lived a guy named Valentine. But it wasn't all roses and chocolate. This guy was arrested in Rome for being a radical Christian. He told the judge about his faith in Jesus, so the judge brought in his blind daughter and said, if you can restore my daughter's sight, then I will believe you. Valentine laid his hands on her eyes and she was healed, leading the judge and 44 other people to turn around and be baptized. But soon Valentine was arrested again for being a radical Christian. He was given two options, either renounce your faith or you'll be beaten and beheaded. And right before his execution, he wrote a letter to the judge's daughter and he signed it at the bottom, from your Valentine. Now we don't know what the rest of the note said, but it got me thinking, what should we be really writing to those that we love the most? All that mushy stuff is great, the poems keep doing them, and it's really important to say I love you. But if you think about Saint Valentine, a radical evangelist, someone who was just so on fire for God that he was willing to die for Jesus. What would that kind of person say to someone that they cared about? We're signing these Valentine's cards with from my Valentine. If we were to really just put ourselves in his shoes, what would he write to someone he loved? I think God's really just put it on my heart recently to say what encouraging things we can really be writing or saying to those we love. That's whether it's a spouse, fiance, or maybe it's a family member or just our best friend, whoever it is that we call our closest ones. I think we need to be pouring out encouragement on them so they'll be set on fire to really just go for God, for standing firm in the faith, for being courageous, bold and strong. I don't think marriage is just going to be some romantic thing that, you know, lasts for 50 years. No, we've got to be thinking, how are we going to push each other? How are we going to make sure that each other are really going for God? They're going after their dreams, going after their destiny, going after the things that God's put on their heart and the promises that he has said over them. So my Valentine's note I'm writing now to my Valentine, which is my wife, it's going to be one that encourages her to also push towards miracles and particularly healings, physical healings. We read about Valentine and how he laid his hands on the blind girl's eyes and she could see. That is what I want for my wife, for her to see those things and have faith for those kind of things. I also want her to know that I'm ready to be radical with her. I'm ready to step out of the boat to do some things that others might not seem like the normal thing to do or the earthly thing to do. I want her to be wild and I want her story to be remembered for generations. My prophetic word for your marriage or your close relationship right now is to tell that person that they are called to a supernatural lifestyle, that you're not just with them because they're cute or they make you laugh, but there is a deeper level of why you love them and what you wanna really support them in. And what you saw in them at the start might have been this sort of epic, um, spiritual, soulful sort of journey that you saw God working in their lives so clearly, just remind them of that and remind them that you are in it for a long run of an amazing adventure with God. Tell them about their gifts, tell them about their talents, tell them what God sees in them, tell them what's written in the Bible about them, the things that God is wanting to just shower them with. What would you say to them if you knew you were about to be beaten and beheaded like Valentine really was? What would you say to your person that you really care about before you, were, you knew you were going to be killed? You had just one letter. Think about your Valentine's Day card or even just if it's not Valentine's Day when you're watching this video, just write them a note anyway and put yourself in his shoes. Yes, 
I am running after something bigger. Yes, I'm running after something greater and you are coming with me on that journey. Let's do it. Let's raise our standard. Let's raise the bar. Tell them you love them. Tell them you care about them and tell them you want to see them just set on.